Hey, Jennifer here. So, I know it happens sometimes where you've tried to be as diligent as possible, you've tried to pack your meals uh, when you're on the go. The best thing to do is have a cooler in your car with your meals with you if you're not sure when you're going to be able to get home next. But sometimes you just end up being somewhere and you don't have any food, you haven't eaten for three, four, five hours, you're starving, and you have to get something. So we are at a 7-Eleven and we're gonna find out what we can eat here, what are our best choices. Let's see how interesting this is. So each 7-Eleven is different. They're not gonna have the same things. And right now, the first thing I would recommend doing is checking out what they have in the refrigerator section. Where it's sitting in front of it now. You can see the selection at this 7-Eleven isn't very good. Um, a lot of times you're going to have in the prepackaged food some hard boiled eggs. That's gonna be your best choice for um, a clean snack, something that's going to have some protein for you. I would really stay away from these salads. They have a lot of cheeses in them. The proteins aren't going to be very high quality. Um, also, the fruit, eh, I'm not a huge believer in fruit on the diet anyway, so if I'm going to do fruit, I'm probably going to do some really nice fresh fruit at home. Other than that, uh, you'll see some cheeses. If you're really, really in a bind, cheese isn't going to be the worst option for you. Just doing one of those could help uh, satisfy you for, for a few hours. Now here you see a bunch of protein bars. I would avoid these unless there's absolutely nothing else for you to choose from. If you have to get a protein bar, um, look at the nutritional content, see how many grams of sugar is in it, see how many ca calories are in it. In general, they're just not a great option. After the refrigerated section, I would head to the canned foods aisle. Um, typically, a 7-Eleven will have some canned foods, and the best thing that I see here is going to be this tuna. Um, I'm not a huge advocate of tuna in a can, but if you're in a bind and you need something, uh, it's going to be some high quality protein, it's going to be really clean. A lot of times they might also have anchovies, that would be another good uh, good selection. Just watch the sodium content on all the things that you're getting here because almost everything that you're going to find here is going to be pretty high in sodium. And here is another uh, section of a 7-Eleven that's going to be decent for you to visit. And this is going to be the nuts and the beef jerky. Um, both. You might be able to find some raw almonds in here, some raw cashews, but in general, again, they're going to be high in sodium. If it's just, you know, a one-time thing in a week, it's not a horrible, uh, a horrible choice. But if you, I would stay away from the big bags of nuts, and I would, I would be more likely to get something smaller because um, if you eat the whole bag, it's not going to be the, the worst thing that you've ever done as opposed to getting, you know, one of these big bags and eating the whole thing. As far as the beef jerky, make sure always that you're looking at the uh, nutritional content. Um, you can see how many grams of sugar are in each uh, bag. So like this, oh, it's not focusing. Okay, this has two grams of sugar, uh, which isn't bad for beef jerky. If you get something that's more like teriyaki, let's see, where's the teriyaki? The teriyaki has five grams of sugar. So if you're going to do beef jerky uh, as a protein source, I would just try to choose one that has a little bit less sugar in it. It's gonna be a better, a better overall decision. Unfortunately, although I know you'll want it, we just have to stay away from this aisle. Now, the last thing that you can look for is gonna be protein shakes. Um, a lot of times now, 7-Elevens will carry muscle milk. They might also carry something else, uh, like this has a, a rocket refuel. Um, we will get into more of reading labels later, later on uh, in later videos, but it's really, really important to read the nutritional labels of things like this. Only because the protein that Muscle Milk uses is going to be uh, a very low quality protein. So a lot of times it might mess up your stomach a little bit. It's just not the, not the best decision. You can also try for a naked juice. A lot of times um, 7-Elevens will carry naked juice as well. And there are ones that are slightly higher in protein. So if all else fails, you can end up at the drinks. So I hope these tips helped. Um, if you have any other questions or other foods that you find out at a convenience store and you want to ask me about them, feel free. I may have missed something. Uh, I just walked through the aisles and, and chose the things that I think are the best decision if you're in a bind.